The Battle of Yenangyang was fought in Burma, now Myanmar, during the Burma Campaign in World War II. The Battle of Yenongyang was fought in the vicinity of Yenangyang, and its oil fields. Chapter 1 Background After the Japanese captured Rangoon in March 1942, the Allies regrouped in central Burma. The newly formed Burma Corps, commanded by Lieutenant General William Slim and consisting of British, Indian and locally raised Burmese troops, attempted to defend the Irrawaddy River Valley, while the Chinese Expeditionary Force defended the Situng River Valley to the east. After the Japanese captured Singapore and the Dutch East Indies, they were able to use divisions released by these successes and captured trucks to reinforce their army in Burma, and launch attacks into central Burma. One of the Japanese objectives in the Irrawaddy River Valley was the Yenangyang oil fields. The battle for the oil fields started on 10 April and continued for a week. The Japanese attacked 1st Burma Division on the Allied right and 48th Indian Infantry Brigade at Kokogwa at night in a storm and were repulsed with heavy casualties. On the next day, 2nd Royal Tank Regiment was in action near Magwat the Doden and Alabo. From 13 to 17 April, the British fell back under attacks by the Japanese. On several occasions Japanese roadblocks split the Burma Frontier Force, 1st Burma Division, the British 7th Armoured Brigade HQ and 2nd RTR into three forces. On 15 April, Lieutenant General Slim gave orders for the oil fields and refinery to be demolished. The situation became so critical that General Harold Alexander, commanding the Burma Army, asked Lieutenant General Joseph Stilwell, the American commander of the China-Burma-India Theater and Chief of Staff to Chiang Kai-shek, to move the Chinese 38th Division immediately into the Yenongyang area. Chapter 2 Battle On 16 April, almost 7,000 British soldiers, and 500 prisoners and civilians were encircled by an equal number of Japanese soldiers, from the Aija 33rd Division at Yenangyang, and its oil field. The 33rd Division was able to advance between Slim's 17th Division at Tangwingyi, and the 1st Burma Division south of Yenangyang. Fearing that his Burr Corps may become trapped, Slim called upon Sun Li Zhen's Chinese 38th Division for help. General Sun requested to lead his entire division to the rescue of 1st Burma Division, but General Lo Chou Ying, commander of the Chinese Expeditionary Force in Burma, refused. On 17 April, General Sun instead led his 113th Regiment with only 1,121 men, of which only 800 were combat personnel, in the mission. Because the Chinese had no artillery or tanks, Lieutenant General Slim assigned the 7th Armoured Brigade, commanded by Brigadier John Anstice, to General Sun. The brigade consisted of two regiments of M3 Stuart light tanks and a battery of 25-pounder guns. For the next three days the Chinese attacked southwards. The temperatures reached as high as 114 degrees Fahrenheit and a pall of smoke from the demolished oil wells and refineries hung over the battlefield. Meanwhile, 1st Burma Division fought its way to and across the Pinchong River where they met with the relief column on the 19th of April. On the next day, the Chinese force attacked south toward Yenongyang and Pinchong. The attack caused the Japanese to suffer heavy casualties, but the Allied forces were too weak to hold the oil fields and had to retreat to the north. Chapter 3 Results For the British, according to Allen, deprived of a supply port at Rangoon, then of its source of fuel at Yenongyang, the question was no longer whether to retreat, but where to. 70. Chapter 4, Sources. Su Long Haswain and Chang Ming Kai, History of the Sino-Japanese War, 2nd ed., 1971. Translated by Wen Ha Shung, Chung Wu Publishing, 33, 140th Lane, Tunghua Street, Taipei, Taiwan Republic of China. Page 377. Slim, William. Defeat into Victory. London, Castle. ISBN 0304291145.